Right now we are seeing dramatic transformations in the world around us. We are at a remarkable time in the evolution of India, the evolution of Asia much more generally. So it became very important for us to create opportunities for our faculty and our students to have much more connection to India, much more exposure to India, much more engagement with India. We can't stay in Hyde Park and ignore what's happening in the rest of the world. You have to be on the ground sometimes to feel what's going on and to think about things that others who have described them have filtered out. Over the course of the 20th century, we changed and the world changed. Chicago became very, very famous in the 50s and 60s for South Asian studies. There is this long, strong connection with South Asia and the university. There are over a dozen South Asian languages being taught at Chicago. One of India's greatest scientists, Chandrasekhar, was at the University of Chicago. When the first dinosaur was discovered in India, Paul Serino was responsible for putting it all together. Given the amount of interaction we have and work that is emerging from universities in South Asia, it is very important that there can be a way those universities can channel their interactions with the University of Chicago. The human interactions are really important star for any collaborative work and having a location will help us get together for brainstorming and collaborating. The Delhi Center is a destination for University of Chicago students and faculty in South Asia. And as a destination in just 17,500 square feet, the whole university can be there. All departments, all programs, all divisions and professional schools have a space they share, committed to the same fearless inquiry that characterized the University of Chicago. The space was designed so that students and faculty feel right at home. We see our presence here in India as the opportunity to serve as a catalyst for a real blossoming of new ideas. We'll have faculty members in residence and students working on projects. The lounge space can be used for small meetings, and the classroom is available for conferences, training sessions, certificate programs, and workshops. And the lecture hall is a very good place for panel discussions and conferences. We're going to have a place where Indian researchers can go and sit and be connected with the University of Chicago. We can host scholars, we can host conferences, we can bring our faculty, we can bring students. You can focus on your scholarship and your education and let the center help you with all the logistics so your work is more efficient. I see this as the hub for alumni, a place that we see as home. The Delhi Center actually becomes the ideal place for the alums to host events to engage with whatever research needs to be done. In the life of any academic, there's this split between your research and your institutional commitments. This makes it possible for the two to be integrated. What the center opens up is the possibility of our faculty running courses in collaboration with Indian faculty and bringing our students and Indian students together. And plus, it also creates a pool of young people interested in the place. Some of the activity occurs in a classroom within four walls, 25 seats, a teacher and students sitting at a table. But it's very important to get the students out of the classroom into the living environment in which this culture is manifested. Today, 20% of our students are international students. Our faculty have traveled all over the world to do research for over 100 years. The global perspective has been embedded in the university and it's very fiber since it started. By creating this, this destination and this physical infrastructure, we create a place where the interdisciplinary activity and higher education really rises to a new level of solving the big problems in an important way.